I just ate, so I'm losing my voice. We just ordered burgers, but Jax is so fussy about the burgers at the close place, which is cheap. So we've spent almost double to get him burgers from farther away. So I hope you appreciated that. <coughs> Let's see. It's not been an exciting day. I haven't gone anywhere except for the mailbox. Groceries came. It was really difficult to order. There was like no cheese at all and no butter or margarine, like none, like nothing at all that you could order. <laughs> so I really, really, really need to go get some margarine tomorrow and some other things. Luckily we still had the sandwich cheese since that did not exist. The closest they could suggest to me was lunch bowls. But anyway, it came. There were no oranges. I said they were out of oranges. They substituted a little square of fabric that I had ordered for masks with just a slightly different shade. That was totally fine. But I tried to get a box with four apple turnovers <clears throat> for breakfast and they switched it out for an apple pie. Technically kind of the same, but not really breakfast. It's kind of like you order chocolate glazed donuts and they give you a chocolate iced cake for breakfast. But, okay, I have a candy bar that I'm gonna eat. The, my current favorite is Payday, which is just peanuts on caramel. So I'm gonna eat that tonight because I bought everybody a candy bar. And I guess pie tomorrow. <laughs> But after bringing the groceries, like I didn't even remember to set my alarm. Luckily Sebastian woke me up at 8.30. And then a little bit after that, they sent the substitutions and they arrived without any warning that they were coming. Usually they warn us right as I was going downstairs. So I brought this in, we had some breakfast. And then I started painting, I believe, but my backup's bothering me at the chair, so I switched over to doing some illustration work. Then I made everybody lunch, which I did not film. I made them all quesadillas, and I made myself a peanut butter banana quesadilla. And then I went back to trying to work on illustration. It's not paying, it's just practicing, seeing if I want to make some like clip art sets. But I'm so used to doing things like analog and not digital that like I start to practice on the iPad and then I'm just like, it's not right. I want my pencil and my markers. So I did it a little bit each way. And then it was just really cold. I had to turn the heater on. It was like 69 in the house. And I don't think it's gonna get above 60 until Friday. So I was just reading the news, there was another school shooting and like 14 kids are dead. Then the food came and then here we are. It is 7 so if I am in the tub for an hour I can still go downstairs and do some more painting because I feel like I didn't get enough done. My hair was looking a mess so I just <laughs> pulled my bangs up. Gonna be sweating in there. But tomorrow Sebastian gets his cavity filled. It's like right up there I think. So, fairly easy to get to, but I have a feeling he's going to be a big stinker and I'm going to have to pay over $100 extra for nitrous oxide, but we'll do what we got to do. Anyway, the bath is calling. Let us go. Hello everyone, Sebastian just got in the tub. I just finished, 
He said he had a VNV Nation song in his head. I love that he wants to hear it and he's singing along. This is When Is The Future, if you'd like to listen to it. I'm gonna skin it out a little way before whoever produces that song comes at me. Don't come at me, YouTube. Anyway, I just talked to you recently when I was getting ready to sweat like crazy in the bath because that's just my favorite thing to get so hot. <laughs> sweat those impurities out. I watched more news and cried. Uh, can I just give you my perspective? Being somebody who has homeschooled their children up until this point, six formal, I guess seven formal years for Jax. And we did it a bit before, which is why we ended up starting because he was so far ahead. I know nothing about public schools. I don't pay attention, well, until the past couple of years when I knew it was coming, I didn't pay attention. I had no idea what they do. I don't know anything except what's in the news. And most of the time, what's in the news is the tragedies. So I'm going blindly into this, just seeing that children get shot at and killed. And just the thought of that happening to one of my babies, I couldn't go on. My biggest fear in life is losing Danny. And then a half a millimeter behind is my children. Yeah, so there's no words. There's no words. But anyway, we're just gonna wrap up our day. Sebastian's not happy that he has to go get a cavity filled. At least it's on an easy spot. I think at this point, he's kind of saying that he doesn't want the nitrous, which I am hoping he doesn't get. Cause I mean, yeah, I'd have to spend more money on it, but it's, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do drugs. I don't do anything that alters my mood or takes control away from me. It's just one of my anxiety things. It's always been, and I don't see that ever changing. And I don't like the thought of my children being high, but if he has to do it, he'll do it and I'll deal. But I'm kind of hoping he sticks with no, I think it can just go just as fast brother had a great experience and realized how little it genuinely hurts it's just that like pressure like really pinpoint pressure of the novocaine shot but they've already numbed you a little bit for that if you could just make it through that we're good and keep his mouth open so we'll see we'll just do what we have to do we'll get that over with it's at 11. sorry i'm itchy because i was so sweaty and then i just splashed some water on my face and I'm, i need to wash my face i think i lost a lot of eyeliner between crying and sweating <laughs> anyway after my bath i painted i did make this bed he doesn't even sleep in it and it looks a wreck i did more painting kind of at the stage with the double cat one where it's lots of little hair so it doesn't change a lot for the last few days. I do need to really get in there and start doing the stuff I dread, the tiny ear hairs and the tiny whiskers that need to be so crisp and clean. But probably I need to ask for any other pictures just to make sure I'm not missing anything because neither picture is super, super clear like one of them is clear but really cropped and the one that's full is kind of blurry and the cats look slightly different <laughs> between the two in terms of where their stripes and and things are so i might ask for just some final confirmation Whoa. pictures before doing the last little details and then i'll really set into the black and white cats which will be a lot of weight for i feel like i'm starting to get handle on the white fur of the double cap painting but there's this not really a centerpiece and just kind of ruffled up and they're smushed up so there's not a lot that needs to be done your eye does not need to go to that but anyway my phone number is showing on 
Benny's color, so just in case. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I got to say, and I'm just going to go check on him, because the song's probably gone off to something else now, and I don't know what. So friends, I will just say goodnight, and I will see you tomorrow. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget, wash your hands.